I don't think we've met. I'm Mayor Goodwheels. I've never heard the name Mayor before. <laughs> mayor isn't my name. It's my job. The mayor is a truck who is chosen by the other trucks to be the leader of a community. You're the leader of our community? Uh-oh. Well, we didn't mean to make you drop your posters. Honest. <laughs> no harm done, boys. And besides, you helped me pick them up. You boys are already good citizens. Citizens are the trucks who live in a community. Oh, like the citizens of Truckopolis. The city in my Truck Atomic comic books. So is a mayor like the superhero Truck Atomic? <laughs> no, I'm not a superhero. But a mayor does try to help his citizens to be safe and happy. Hello, Mayor Goodwheels. What brings you here today? Hi, Holly. Porter. I'm hanging posters for our town's first annual Clean Up the Streets Day. What a great idea. We'll hang up some posters for you. So Clean Up the Streets Day was your idea? Sure was. I got the idea because clean streets are helpful for all the citizens in our community. I like helping other trucks. And I have lots of good ideas, too. Maybe someday I can be mayor. Hmm. How about you give it a try? Really? How? Well... You and your friends are a small community of your own. I can make you junior mayor for the day in charge of the young trucks here at Treadwells. What do you think? Wow, definitely. <clears throat> As junior mayor, do you promise to do your best to help the younger citizens of Treadwells be safe and happy? I promise. Then you are officially my junior mayor for the day. <laughs> Citizens! Oh, hi, Chuck. What's up? Well, I'm trying to do my job as junior mayor, but the only thing you citizens are doing is playing. Don't any of you have something I can help you with? Ooh, I know. Help! I'm stuck on a trampoline and I can't get off! That's just pretend, Boomer. Like Mayor Goodwheel said. The mayor's not a superhero. Don't you guys have any real things I can help you with? I promised my parents I'd clean up my play space in the construction yard. I'll try and think of something later. Now we're pickups. That's perfect. Citizen Handy, I'll clean up the construction yard for you. Are you sure? I'm sure as a junior mayor can be. Relax, citizens. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> well, polish my bumper and call me Spiffy. This place is a mess. I came to help. What can I do, Junior Mayor? Thanks for the offer, Biggs. 
But as junior mayor, helping is my job. Do you need help with anything? Aw, oh, shucks, Chuck. I do have something I need help with, but it looks like you're busy. Say it, Biggs. The junior mayor is at your service. Really? Well, I was looking for a set of Ultra Tread tires. I heard there's some in the parts yard, but I can't find them anywhere. I need a break anyway, so I'll help you right now. Then come back later to finish this. Serving the community is my job. I found two tires already. If I find two more, I'll have a whole set for Biggs. Junior Mayor, I heard you were searching for tires for Biggs, and I thought you could use some help. It's nice of you to offer, but it's my job as Junior Mayor to help the citizens. So the question is, do you need help with anything, Citizen Boomer? Well, I've always wanted to do a double flip off the big jump at their dirt track. Can you help teach me how? A Junior Mayor is here to help. I'll get Biggs's tires later. It doesn't look easy. Try it. You'll see once you get up there. Here goes. <laughs> what happened? I got scared and closed my eyes. I don't think I can do it, Junior Mayor Chuck. I'll show you again. Hey, Chuck. How's the construction yard coming? Almost done cleaning? Uh, not quite. Another citizen needed my help. Oh, I'd better go finish it up. No, a junior mayor finishes what he says he'll finish. Boomer, keep practicing. I'll be back in a bit. Hey, junior mayor Chuck. Any luck finding those tires? Oh, right. Uh, not yet. I have to... Look out! Still not getting this jump right. I really need more help, Chuck. Being a deputy mayor is hard. I want to help all my citizens, but I haven't been able to help any of you. That's okay, Chuck. I was going to clean it up on my own anyway. Yeah, I'm sure I can find those tires myself. And I can keep practicing that stunt on my own. I didn't do a good job of being Junior Mayor. I better give this back to Mayor Goodwheels. Hi, Mom, Dad. I need to find Mayor Goodwheels. What are you guys doing? Didn't you hear the mayor? Today is clean up the streets day. But isn't the mayor supposed to clean up the streets? It was the mayor's idea to clean up the streets, but he couldn't possibly do it all by himself. He needs help from the citizens in the community as well. So the mayor doesn't do everything himself? Power and pickups. He needs citizens to help him out. That's great. See you later, guys. See, I wanted to help you, Andy, but the best way to help you isn't to do it all by myself. It's not? Nope. The best way to help is to ask other citizens to help, too. That's great. We wanted to help you all along. If you're all helping me, how can we help Biggs find his tires? When we finish with the cleanup, we'll all go help with the tires. And then will you all help me with my double flip? Exactly. The mayor can't help everyone himself. But if his citizens care for one another, he can ask them to help each other for the good of the community. all coaching me. I should thank you all for helping me get the construction yard clean. 
And I should thank you all for helping me find my awesome Ultra Tread tires. <laughs> Working together to get it all done was a great idea, Junior Mayor Chuck. I might have led the way, but we did the work together. As a... As a community! I'm proud of you, youngsters. Chuck, it looks like you were a terrific Junior Mayor. And all of you are great citizens of your community. Thank you, sir. Now then, let's see how the other citizens are doing with Clean Up the Streets Day. Can we help? Sure. This community can always use another set of wheels. Yeah! Give me a mountain to climb and watch me do it. Yeah. Any day, any time, you know I'm up to it. I got what it takes to come through. There's nothing I can do Gonna make all my dreams come true Cause there's nothing I can do Quatro, cinco, seis, siete, siete! Seven times! Yeah, and you've done them all in a row without taking a break! And you've wiped out every time! Well, Rowdy, I'm going to get it right this time. And you can't stop me! Oops! Why? Gotcha! <gasps> Are you okay? Do I did it? I mean, did I do it? Almost. If you had jumped a little higher, you would have made it. Well then, I'll just try it again. Chuck, at least think about it a little first. Maybe you could come up with a better way to try it. No way. I know I can do it right now. I think you should take a break, hombre. I don't want you getting hurt. And next time, you might not be lucky enough to fall on the slide. <laughs> Digger, let me go! <laughs> Looks like Digger has you on hold, Chuck. Hi, Dad. Hi, Hi Mr. Handy's Dad. Dad. I thought you were working at the construction yard today. Mm-hmm, I am. But I came to see you guys because I could use a little help. See, I've got two jobs set at the same time, but I can't be in two places at once. Hmm. I wonder if I can... <laughs> nope. The best I can do is be in one place at one time. <laughs> one of the jobs is something I think you kids would be good at. And I was wondering if you wanted to tackle it for me. Would we each get our own wrecking ball? Like the one you have? And will we still get to yell all kinds of cool stuff as we knock things down? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I can just imagine how cool that would be. Wrecking mm. stuff all day. Building coming down. Wrecking ball wipeout. Uh, Chuck? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Smasher. It must be amazing to just roll up and knock things over. There's a little more to it than that, Chuck. There's some planning that goes into it, but I definitely enjoy my work. So here's the story. I've got to demolish, take down, an old office building and an old garage that's falling apart. I thought I'd take the building and let you guys handle the garage. Really? Yep. I've already asked all your parents. I've cleared away anything that might be dangerous around the garage, and I have construction helmets for you once you arrive. I'll be right there at the construction yard to check in on you. What do you say? What do we say? Over, around, and through. Trust go and see and do. and do. Come on, let's get started. Mira, look, we get. 
get to tear down all of this? This looks like a big job. I'm glad we stopped to get my power rig. This might be the best day ever. Do you boys want me to help you make a plan before you get started? Knocking things down is easy. What could go wrong? Well, anytime I do a job, I like to stop and think about it. I try to imagine what's going to happen and even what it's going to look like when it's done. We already know what it's going to look like. Like a pile of broken pieces of garage. But do you know where all the pieces are going to fall? And where you're going to put the pieces when you're done? If you plan for those things, you shouldn't run into trouble. Have fun. I'll be back to check on you in a while. Okay, Chuck. What is the plan? It's three easy steps, Handy. Smash, crash, and boom! Woo! <laughs> That's not really a plan. <laughs> but that does look like fun. Hey, guys! Save some for me! fun wrecking everything we didn't remember to leave ourselves a way to get out remember how my dad said it was good to at least have some kind of plan he even said we should think about where the broken pieces would fall if we had stopped we might have realized they could trap us inside then we could have made a plan for how not to get trapped so what are we gonna do now maybe we didn't have a plan before but I've got one now look out <laughs> Huh, this must be a thicker pile of junk than I thought. Okay, so I guess that plan didn't work. If we had my power rig, we could knock down these walls. But I left it outside. I've got another plan that's even better. Stack up, everybody. Ouch. Ooh. Rowdy, get your wheel off my headlight. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> That tickles! Ay, ay, ay. Why? Do I always have to be on the bottom? Maybe I should try smashing into these walls again. I don't know, Chuck. Doing the same thing again and again doesn't seem to work. Like when you kept trying that stunt at the clubhouse today, but you couldn't go high enough. Power pickups! That's it! The stunt at the clubhouse! I can use a ramp to jump out of here! Come on, guys! Help me set one up! But, Chuck, that stunt didn't work! No way! Ni modo! Because I didn't have a plan! But if we think about it now and come up with a plan, we could make it work! Now, what did Smasher say? He likes to imagine what's going to happen. If you go off the jump the way it is now, You'll go right over here, which means you'll crash. You're right, Handy. So if we make the top of the ramp higher... You'll go right over the wall. I made it. Hang on, guys. I'll go get Smasher to help the rest of you out. Coming down! Woo wow! Great job, Dad! Thank you, son. And great job to all of you. 
You did a wonderful job of tearing down this old garage. Except that we got stuck inside because we didn't plan very well. You know, making mistakes is a great way to learn. In fact, it helps you to plan better for the next time. That's true. In fact, making that mistake helped us figure out a plan to do something else we've been trying. The jump over the clubhouse! clubhouse! Let's go see if our plan will work there. Are we all done here, Dad? Done as done can be, son. Bye, Smasher. Bye-bye. Adios. See you. Thanks, kids. If we hadn't gotten stuck, we might not have figured out this plan for how to jump over the clubhouse. You did it, Chuck! Well, it was a whole lot easier once we thought about it and made a plan. Now my next plan is to figure out a way to do the same stunt with three spins instead of two. Can we help you plan, amigo? A plan to help Chuck make a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> <laughs> what if we built a bigger ramp? 